Uh, hello everybody, welcome to Blood Bowl Super League Season 3. Um, we've got first game up against Singolo. Uh, he's got Kemri. I predicted this meta to be a 50-50 split between Dwarves and Kemri because I thought the Kemri counted the... Like, I thought the Dwarves were super strong, but the Kemri counted the Dwarves very well. And obviously Kemri do count the Dwarves very well. And this is going to be a very tough group for me. Um, I'm imagining I won't be making the playoffs this season. But I shall still try my hardest, never give up, never surrender. Um, Fime is here to do the commentary so I can concentrate, learn how to play Blood Bowl again. Um, <laughs> Hello, <laughs> thank guys. you, Fime. All right, guys, this is the first game of the for uh, Jimmy for the third season of the Blood Bowl Super League, which uh, follows a format uh, similar to the Blitz Pits, which is uh, every team more or less have the same team value. Resurrection format, so you don't need to worry about getting players dying or anything. And one minute turns, which is what makes the things really, really interesting. And Jesus Singolo has a dangerous team. That's a lot of Tomb Guardians with guard. Jimmy going for a very standard uh, dwarf here. I mean, TV, but going with uh, blitzers and troll slayers and one reserve. Lost as much guard as possible and one, one mighty blow. This is a long beer instead of the troll slayer. And there you go, Jimmy nearly ran out of time there. The Singolo is going for a... Three dice block all over the place. With a two mighty blow. One with tackle, I like that a lot. And the other one with the pylon. Maybe instead of the tackle one with Mighty Blow, maybe I would have Juggernaut or something like that. Bat versus the, the Dwarfs. That would be very useful, that Mighty Blow. It's gonna be it, it's gonna be, you know, the, the dwarves are gonna survive the LOS, yes. Oh, here comes the piling on Blitz. And, yeah, Singolo has a dirty player, one of the herbs. Put the boot, someone gets the pow. Instant in full injury, lucky. I think it's nearly 100%. Uh, oh, upper work. Lucky there, but yeah, that was an instant up early. That's a guard. And uh, no, all right, well, no danger there, you know. They can really have more than a few turns to grab the ball. I don't see the dwarves arriving there anytime soon. But now the pylon piece is exposed to a hit and one of the Tomb Guardians too. Even two of the Tomb Guardians could get the hit if uh, things go well for uh, Egypt. Armor break, good. Mighty blow in the skelly, going for the low armor value there. Trying to get the pieces out of the board, nothing. Armor 7, gold like armor. And Jimmy Moore is sending a clear message. 
to advance as much as possible. And still all the dwarves are more or less in contact with one another, keeping the wall like a trench. A line of dwarves. And my prediction for this game is very basic. If the Tomb Guardian work and don't get cast, it's nearly impossible for uh, Jim to be able to get a chance. A single is not going to. Oh, it's a tier 5 leads. Oh. I can ah there you go re-roll there re-roll there I'm not sure about that re-roll I mean that Tomb Guardian there is not like he's doing a match and uh, here in the middle we have uh, the wet dream of chain pushes answers Red dice, instant cast, always, doesn't matter what happens, always, if someone falls, it's an instant cast. I think a single was thinking that was maybe one dino. I think he was trying to move the... the long beer, the long beer, the runner, one square away and base him. This is the problem, only having one minute, you need to develop a game plan really, really quick. There's a lot of guard there with the Tomb Guardians, but... Having Guardians so tight there. D works, that's one, one guard down. Disgusting 1D action here from the dwarves, that's why everybody hates them, and now to this all over the place. Whoa, another cast, a KO, one scaly less. Red dice. Having block is a uh, oh, beautiful, beautiful result. I want to say that if you have block, oh, oh, regens, but <laughs> get off my fucking pitch, prick. <laughs> okay, that's probably one of the best times Jimmy has had in the last 20 years of his career. When he started playing Blood Bowl when he was 9 years old, because everybody knows that all Blood Bowl coaches are 29 years old. I mean, Streamer dies absolutely over the top there. Now Singolo. He could have uh, blitzed the mighty blow dwarf there, but there will be a saying, okay, I give up the drive, my body is yours. Mighty blow on the Troll Slayer. Injury. All right. Okay. Thanks for coming, Mr. Troll Slayer. Troll Slayer was meant to be only useful in a few cases. 
versus uh, Tomb Guardian. But the French is nice, but I think uh, Jimmy is more or less okay using that. Up. And another reroll going for uh, Singolo. I'm not sure about the. the And there is a lot of dwarfs free. Or that could get free or is easy. Good enough. Good enough to have the hit on the ball carrier, 1D. That was a 2 plus to get the ball. There, there goes the ball. And. People are burning the rolls like they are nothing. Oh, to free the, the blitzer. IG3. IG3, gentlemen. IG3 doing things. Oh, yeah, he's not going to take the risk with any red dice. No point. Hello, Oscuro. <laughs> the conceit Buddha, eh? Okay, now Singolo has a lot, a lot of problems. There you go. And uh, now he can afford losing the last roll. That's uh, mental. I mean, he's going to need to try to do something because dwarves. I don't see the dwarf scoring here. It's a very long way to the top. <laughs> that throw is a juicy target. D4, 5. Uh, okay, that's better. Better, you know, go for the 1 in 9 for going for the 1 in 6. And that's it, Jimmy gets the ball. This is looking good. And for Singol, it's looking as bad as the time I tried today than OnlyFans model as he passed me the link to her only friend. Some results, but not very good. But again, this is the first drive, so if uh, Singol managed take out a couple dwarfs there could be a massive difference there but in armor 9 working its magic And freeze the blitzer. Yeah. 
Bueno, del piece out of the board. Bien, bad. Obvious blitz is obvious. Oh, doesn't get it. Tiro dodge. Last reroll. Lancet bats in Russia and Darlington. Now the important part to remember is that the main target for uh, Jimmy here is to avoid the Cambridge score. And having three turns left after this one, he, I think that's the best chance. He has, oh, that was the last reroll. He has to free the, the Thorora. Now, any one in nine will be the insta full death for Toon Guardian. Or that. I see why he did it, you know, because he could push, he just push the, the dwarf, can uh, tie it with the Toon Guardian and have more or less that Blitzer free. Nice it's start to appear now all over the place. That's unfortunate. Oh, an armor break here will be massive. Okay, that, that that's how it works. That that's how it works. Very lucky with the uh, region Singolo, but very unlucky with everything <laughs> Get off else. My fucking pitch, Perfect result with the red dice. <laughs> Bring one dwarf. Which obviously is going to attack the Blizzra. And now, yes, that's a decent risk because he's something. Oh my god, that's a disgusting chanter. Chanter guiding those dice. Strange, that's the one in 36 chances of not killing that Tomb Guardian. The rest 35, 35 times you tried to red dice, it was instant dead. Now, if I look correctly, there are no throwers on the pitch. So, if by any chance, Singolo in the next turn managed to take the ball of uh, Jimmy's hands, it's all an AG2 or AG1. I uh, think uh, Singolo's agility right now on the pitch is uh, average is 1.5 AG, but strength 4. on the dirty player gets him uh. 
absolutely disgusting, absolutely horrible. This is making me sick. You know, going for the mighty blow. With, I mean, with 2D, the chance of getting a, if you have block. Oh, well, that was a turn there. If there was a... is with a reroll, you have a reroll with the red dice. Getting anything but a skull is like a 80 or 90 percent. And if you don't have the reroll, it's like a 70 or yeah, 70 or 70 percent. Obviously, be indoors. Ah, there you go. Ah, there you go. And that didn't regen. Absolutely disgusting uh, attitude. <laughs> Chingolo drops the GG. <laughs> you know, the turn uh, first half done. Singolo nearly with a full team and uh, Jimmy missing the uh, layer that, I mean... Boy, what? mate, I don't take no fucking voids. What do you know about voids? And the, the fact that Jimmy mate. has no Apple voids, now is, is him, not that <laughs> relevant in the second half because using it for a cast is not very useful because after all, uh, the team gets resurrected after the big game and maybe, you know, you power up on uh, no KO. So that's it. I don't think what Sigolo Singoyo was thinking putting the three tomb guardians there on the lineup. He thinks that Jimmy can get two dice on them, and each one of them, he's very grown. Jimmy fantastic shit at this game. Extra reroll for Singolo. Wait. Extra reroll for both. Both roll at one. Good move by Jimmy, uh, getting rid of the snakes and getting a reroll. Absolutely master of the uh, kickoff event there. Well played, Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh, this one needs to get a pow. Pow. Jimmy, for God's sake, that guy doesn't have guard. And I don't think Jimmy is gonna blitz. Jesus Christ, that's more my boss. I don't know, you want to hear something uh, funny? Try to remember your love life. I heard this hilarious. <laughs> Going for the blitz here, and he needs to take down this dwarf. <laughs> that was cool. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's uh, I can imagine. Singolo. I'm gonna check his uh, stream, you know, because that, that must be. Classic moment, put the headphones, uh, the headset down, close your eyes. I uh, doesn't have the face cam there, but yeah. Well, it seems that the blue ball can be a very fine game when you break armor 50% of the time and uh, your opponent uh, rolls uh, quad schools every turn. 
Kukula Seid. To be honest, on paper, you watch this uh, before this match started and seeing both teams and how are they made and uh, what are the chances. I think the draw or a victory for Singolo will have the highest percentage. But this is like absolutely outrageous now. I mean, Jimmy is in a very good position to win here. Anything could happen still, you know. The, the... But now Singolo is starting to need GFIs, Guardians. Which everybody knows they fail 83% of the time. I mean, yeah, Singolo uh, takes the Blood Bowl in a very philosophical way. He doesn't very rarely gets angry or have he doesn't have a image of an angry player or a thing like that. He takes things on a stride. There you go, one dies, double GFI maneuver there gets it, gets the instant full pow. Absolutely outrageous. Ball goes out. Okay, it's not the end of the world. But he can clear the path for the Skelly Dodge. And, and, the, and the Skelly can get more or less close to the ball. Oh, does he need the Dodge? I know, he's, uh, he's blocking with him. The, 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 this is the beginning of uh, Singolo getting back into the game. Bad for uh, Jimmy, but not particularly dramatic. He has the runner there to be able to grab the ball again. Armor break. Good. And now, oh, moment of truth, a 1 in 9 here could be problematic. Not much. Nothing happens. And yes, Jimmy just needs to get a little back. Moves on the port down and. Start again trying to go up. Five seconds. That's it. Leave things as they are. Maybe put the bleacher in front of the. The player on the front on the ground, but ah, it was it. Remember, gentlemen, IG3 can dodge as well as an Orc Blitzer. And everybody knows that Orc Blitzers make every single dodge and fail every single GFI. Roll have to go there. Just to free the Toon Guardian. Scan base the ball. Bail is gonna get base. Yes. GFI is a six. The only result that works with uh, Toon Guardian. If we have to pay attention to what the Cambridge coaches say. Oh, 
Oh, that leaves one uh, door free. Well, I think that Toon Garden is going to be in trouble. 3 4 5. Blitz. Easy peasy. Cypher is the there is any risk there, but and now this is gonna be more than enough. Jimmy could have served a piece here, you know, just probably losing the game in the process, but there was a chance of a serve there. And now we're going to see another dodge from the Mountain Elf. There you go, no problem. See a pile on a blitz here. No. Oh, a skeleton a blitz. Ah, to free the Toon Guardian. Yeah, now the Toon Guardian can go back. Or just get stuck with more uh, dwarfs. I don't see much the point of that uh, moving there, that uh, Tomb Guardian. I mean, those dwarves were already in trouble with the uh, Jackson guard. Oh, that's going to be a good pylon blitz on the Blitzer. And retreat as many pieces as I could. Double skulls, well, something happens. In the turn 13, soon you will have to start moving up. How many times have uh, Jimmy got double pause this game? And this time it wasn't on red dice. How do you? Okay, uh, uh, maybe you know he could have gone with a. Uh, 1D on the skeleton with the Blitzer instead of doing these uh, red dice things here. Because he already used the reroll. Freeze the Blitzer to avoid the free hit with the pylon piece. The leave it. The problem with that doing that the one D if he fails, he the skull fails the one in six. That gives the Skelly access to 
de Getting Very Very Close to the Ball y 1D the Ball. Oh, Armor Break. Con los Wolf. Incredible Results. a risky one there ball is base ball is base ladies and gentlemen I mean whoa okay, KO there things are working for the Doom Guardians now And now the dwarves are stuck in a line in the middle, surrounded by two guardians, which is not very good. They have ways of getting free. But uh, Jimmy is going to have to work hard. And roll pause. Another dodge. This is starting to, I mean, it's, it's graceful. And yes, now he needs something. Jesus Christ. Okay, it's not the uh, perfect, but most of the Cambria are tied. Golo invest in a very cheap skeleton to have a troll the uh, legend of the Olympics. That is a blitzer. What a disgrace. Uh, what kind of people you admit in your house? Clearly you have no standards. Here we go, yeah, the gentleman of the school baby, huge. Saves the day. <laughs> Classic, no, I shouldn't follow, and then fuck, I should have followed. I think that one D wasn't very good because that gives the access to a free guard that gets the hit, frees another one. Two turns for Jimmy to score, he's gonna be to run, run like a gazelle, lining speeds never seen before in a Dwarf. That's that's a ballsy movement. I think the blitz is coming from the blitzer with a dodge and a GFI. Oh, 
Obviously, power. That, that's it. That, 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 that skeleton must be dead. Well, armor break. Thick skull doing a thing. More than enough for uh, Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy, do the dodge. That the lone beer there is doing absolutely nothing. Okay, that, that, that uh, the whole maneuver there maybe was a little too greedy. Going for the cannon in threat for a single other. 1D, nobody has blocked their two GFIs. This could be it. Push, that's. It's cool. And that's it. Jimmy wins the game. Congratulations, Jimmy. Easy game of your life. Everything was part of the plan. What a master genius. Achieves the first victory in the Blue Bowl Super League. In a second half that was much tougher than the first. <laughs> oh dear. Fucking Kemri are just disgusting, aren't they? They're just absolutely disgusting. It's horrible. Like, you just sat there and everybody's stronger. <laughs> and it's like you can't get a 1D even. It's just... <laughs> well, it's Jimmy, just I think you can complain about your 1Ds or your red dice this game. No, no, I got I got great results on them, but it's just horrible that there's no choice, is there? There's, like, literally no yeah. choice. There's just, like, you just have every block you've got to make because, like, if you're lucky, it's a 1D. <laughs> Like, yes, obviously I was really lucky and still just scraped, scraped a 1-0, like, despite the insane look of the first half and pretty good luck the second half and scraped a 1-0 win. Like, that's crazy, isn't it? If that was Elves, it would have been 5-0 with, with that luck, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I know at these, uh, in this format, in a resurrection format, when you're going to have your full Tomb Guardians every single game, can we are ultra strong. Yeah. I mean, they're strong against dwarves, and then when they've got more TV than dwarves, it, it really is really horrible for dwarves, to be fair. It is particular. Like, I thought that the meta would be dwarves and Kemri to beat the dwarves. But, like, Kemri or maybe is just good enough to take Kemri anyway, because they like, they get so many skills. But the problem with Kemri is they're a bit crap. And if, like, if things go wrong for them against, like, agile teams, they're up they don't have creek, comeback. They? Yeah, yeah, they don't have comeback. They... Any mistake, any misposition is that's it, game over. You have the easy to die blocks, you know, the Tomb Guardian, easy thing like that, but don't make a mistake because there is no recovery. Yeah, and like even there with Bloody Dwarves, it was just like he had to, what, double GFI one day, like, you know, desperate. Their desperation plays are terrible, uh, but obviously against Bash teams, they, they tend to. But let's see your dodge rolls. Wow, 14 heavy break. It was crazy. Like, it was, you know, don't get me wrong, it was crazy. I got crazy dice and still only just squeaked out the win. Unreal. Dodge is 77%, not bad. And because you failed one in the last turn with a 50%, it will be 7-1. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Elf. Yeah. And queued up a 5%. Elf, plus elf numbers. Plus numbers. Plus elf plus numbers. Who needs IG4 when you have IG3? Uh, what's that? 35, 29, 40. <laughs> So incredible block dice overall. Um, he ah, got yes, terrible when, uh, block dice. 44, 34. Terrible, absolutely 34. depressing. <laughs> well, he got even a quad skulls. I said, oh, Jesus. That's it. That's, that's the moment when you pull. I was telling you guys, that's the moment you take off your headset, <laughs> look to the wall, look high, breathe that, <laughs> breathe <in. laughs> To be fair, his GFIs were pretty good. Shawnee levels of GFIs. That's the only good look he had. He was really good at the GFIs, but um, yeah, that was that was that was rough. That was that was, like that was that was. A, it's a rough team matchup, isn't it? It's a rough team. Like I yes. guess if he'd failed some of the some more of the regens, but he still failed like two out of five. So it wasn't like crazy. It wasn't as if like every regen worked or anything. It was like it was just. It's just such a brutal matchup for the dwarves, and that's how lucky I had to be to. Scrape a no, no, yeah, win. yeah, but uh, uh, also Singolo knows how to play Blood Bowl, so I mean, yeah. he put uh, in a lot of uh, problems in the second half. There was a few moments when Yuri was two red dice <laughs> and one dice to be able to do something. 
Yeah, it was it was brutal. A brutal match. So there you go. Happy to be lucky as fuck. <laughs> um, thank you very much, Fimea, for the commentary. Brilliant. Very nice of you. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. Fantastic.